Now we're going to take a look at the new DDUI or Data Driven User Interface experience for Windows. So you can see it says Windows Beta because we're in a workspace on beta environment. And then so beta, sometimes it will just happen, no big deal. Um, we're just going to call this Windows Restriction. It doesn't really matter. So you see here how we were talking about DDUI and CSP. You're going to see how there is a ton of stuff in here now. Which is really cool. Like you're gonna have like even have like cloud PC capabilities. We can go ahead and you can hit add. So you boot the cloud PC configuration. And then you have, you know, all your different stuff here. You know, allow removal, assignment type. Like that's not a great example, but we'll look at let's look at some other stuff. So application management. Remember with the DDUI, the biggest key is is you'll get confused very quickly. You need to click add. Then once you've done that, then you can actually configure stuff. You know, like allow blah blah. Um, and you want to be really careful because the real key with any of this stuff is that you only want to put really like similar things together, usually you want to have one concept per profile. Like, you know, Wi-Fi, VPN, certs, those all make sense together, but you don't want to put like restrictions and pass go together as an example. But you can see here all the different CSP capabilities that are within here now. Um, and now, you can just, let's see what happens if we try to search. I type in hello, and these are, this is what it finds. Let's type in some other stuff. Type in app. And it finds all these different things. So like we've got application guard settings. So again, remember, you can't select anything until you click that add button. Then once you've done that, you know, you can enable stuff. Then you just go next. You assign your smart group. You know, you can allow, allow exclusions if you want to. You set the assignment type. You can even do pretty cool. You can do geofencing. You can do scheduled install times. And then you just literally just save and publish, and you're good to go.